Peter Pan, they're in for a surprise. Yeah? Yeah. Oh boy. Oh boy. It's me, Mikey Pipes and Peter Pan. Welcome back to another fresh and exciting episode. On today's service call, we're heading over to Oceanside. Oceanside's in Nassau County. And I think we've been to this customer before, but not specifically this um, property before. Right, so the, maybe they have multiple properties. It's possible, right? Uh, customer's complaint is no heat on the first floor. So maybe we got a bad relay. Maybe we have a bad circulator. Um, I don't know, that's all I know. We've never been to this property before, but let's get going over there and see what's going on. So put on your shoes, your boots, put your pants on, put your belt on, throw in your suspenders, and make sure if you're going to the beach, make sure you bring it down. Let's get going. Ta-da! It's a good man. Ta-da! No flame. Any status light? Let's see. Let's see if anything's flashing in there. Let's see. One, two, three, four. Four flashes and no ignition. Goodman, let's get the light on. Now we have flame, but we had four flashes. Let's see what the four flashes is. Okay. Let's see what four flashes is. Let's go to the, relax. Four flashes. Hold on. Open, high limit. All right, the high limit on this is that, all right? There's a plenum sensor right there. See that? Mm -hmm. Connected to the blue and purple wire at that center of the screen. Now, that may or may not prevent, well, yesterday it was 50 something degrees in here. So now we have to figure out why that went out. Now, it's kind of hard to, to troubleshoot the system when it's functional, but that is getting too hot mm -hmm. and it's preventing the furnace from running so we could have a restriction of airflow we could have to address the open high limit four mm -hmm. flashes we could have a restriction of airflow which means a dirty filter something like that so we have to find the filter go look at the filter which is next to the thermostat and take that out and see how it is all right we took the cover back on and the furnace is not coming on it's a cold heat from the thermostat Peter, yeah. what, what's, what's the status right now with the thermostat? Uh, the wires are undone. The wires are undone? Yes. Okay, put them back on, okay. right, to R, H, and W, mm -hmm. and let's see if it turns on again. I don't think it is, but intermittently failing th thermostat. Okay. Let me ask you a question, man. You changed the batteries in the thermostat recently? Oh, actually, and I know you said you're not the boss. Your husband he changed the batteries? He's been here for a year. He has new batteries. So you have new batteries? You want to try that first? Or you, your husband can put in a $45 thermostat. And I, I don't trust him because he's like, he's so cheap. Like, I he's so cheap. Like, it's, it's like, he treats like he's a, he's in, in a rental. Like, like $45. That's why I didn't want him to touch it. I was like, don't touch it. Like, leave it. You have to do battery first. You want to try that? Or you want to give us your new thermostat? I think you should put it in the thermostat. Okay. You're the boss. Well, he wants to give you that thirty, that forty-five dollar thermostat, you know. So the house is was rebuilt two years ago. You're the first owner, yeah. and it's the first time there's been a problem with it. Yeah. Okay. So the new thermostat I'm going to give you also has two new two thermos two batteries in it. Mm -hmm. Make sure your husband changes that right around New Year's every year because we're January, right? Every New Year's you party, change change the two batteries. Also, I'm very important the filters. Did you change the filters? You check them regularly? Where are the filters? There's one down here on the return, mm -hmm. right? There's one by the thermostat, and that's for the first floor system. And you also have another one for the for the second floor. If you have two systems, you have a, you have a filter for that as well. Make sure you check it every 30 days, especially in the in the winter, uh, summertime. If the filter is dirty, you gotta clean it or so, change it. Well, you know, like 
I'll slap my number on the on the thing. You got it. I'll call you when I need things to be fixed. Okay. <laughs> because you're the boss. <laughs> I, I'm trying to avoid using those words. I don't want to use those words. Okay, you you wear the pants in the family. Oh, come on. It's, you can laugh. Comment. I'm not. You're not going to comment. <laughs> All right. Nah. All right, so changed the thermostat. Ran for, I want to say about two minutes, back to four flashes. See that? Four flashes. So we have to investigate a possible defective uh, high plenum limit sensor or maybe a main PCB. I'm having him put the fan switch to on on the thermostat to see if we get an increase of blower temperature. I mean, blower, um, blower speed and nothing. We still have four flashes. Still got four flashes. Let's get the voltmeter and test the high temperature plenum sensor. Just bypass that with a uh, 5 amp fuse. We have inducer motor calling. Shortly thereafter, the hot source igniter is going to come on. And we should ohm out that. Ohm it out. We just stand in there. <laughs> There's our hot source igniter. Got. It's open too, huh? Yeah. I guess we have ignition. Cool. So we have a bad plenum sensor. Peter Pan, yes. you know it's incredible. Having the part in the truck. That is incredible. And you've worked for us for how long? Uh, I'd say like two months. And how many how many furnaces have you worked on in two months? I think this is one of my first. <laughs> you see, right? Yeah. So we don't even work on the equipment that often. We still have it. But we still got the parts in the truck. And that's worth every single F and penny. Okay, so I've secured the new High temperature limit plenum. And now we're just going to plug in the wires. Uh oh. These are different than that size. We'll make it work. All right, full disclosure those little spade connectors, we crimped them down with our needle nose. And then after we swiped the card, got paid, I sent Peter Pan down to the furnace, and sure enough, four flashes of death. So I haven't set a timer because it is 70 degrees in the house, 72 degrees in the house. Set a timer for five minutes. It turned back on, ran for four minutes, turned off for five minutes, and then hopefully it turns back on. Let's watch and see. A solid red light. So let's go see what the thermostat's doing, Peter. Okay. Oh, 73 and it's 72. Gonna raise it up. So let's go to 70. This is, you know, it's 20. Oh, how many degrees is it? Yeah, it was pretty warm today. It's it like is 32. 41 degrees. Mm. That's a real unrealistic expectation, that temperature though. So let's go see what the furnace is doing. Hot surface ignition. Right there. See that? Ignition. Houston, we have ignition. Set the timer, Peter Pan. And now we sit and wait. Peter Pan has the timer set for 10 minutes. I'm leaning against the furnace. When the gas cuts off, we're gonna time the duration of time that is running before it turns off. And then we're going to see how long it's off before it turns back on again. Because it is 72 or 73 degrees in the house, right? 70, 70, it is 73. 70. At this temperature and above, and it's 40 plus degrees outside or 20 degrees outside, it's kind of like an unrealistic expectation. Eventually, you know, you're going to burn out the heat exchanger eventually, but it's just, if you need it that hot, you got to put something a little bit more powerful in, you know? 
All right, let's see what happens. So while we're waiting, let's check up on our messages on social media. Since I happen to be popular, right? I'm popular. First, let's start with, let's start with plumbing goddess. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. I said plumbing goddess. Her name is Natalie and she sent me this. What is it? Huh? What is it? You testing? You guessing. <laughs> <laughs> Test your she. That's right. That's right. Stop watch. Go. Five minutes, Five minutes, 50 seconds. And do we have four flashes? No, we have a solid red light. Put your thermostat. What do we got, Peter Pan? Peter? Yeah. What do we got? So raise it up a couple degrees. Raise it up? Yeah. All right. Do we have hot surface igniter yet? No, not yet. But let's see what else plumbing goddess sent us plumbing goddess on instagram check her out she's got oh, only 331 followers and 15 posts see can you see the screen right there uh can you see plumbing goddess just how it's spelt this is how it's pronounced it's how it's spelt all right but she sent me back a response because i sent her a thing like hey that's right if you ain't testing you're guessing and she sent this. Oh, well, it's like Snapchat. Once you like view something, it disappears or whatever. We have ignition. We're good to go. Be well. God bless. Stay safe.